Hello and welcome. Thanks for clicking on. My apologies for the poor quality of the attempt to go live a couple of weeks ago. I guess I just don't have the bandwidth to do so. So here we are. D Colosseum in Rome. I was always under the impression that this was quite a unique building. It's one of the most visited tourist attractions in Europe. It uh, gets about 5 million visitors, I believe. And um, yeah, the general impression is that it uh, is a unique building. So I realized it wasn't when I was looking for stars and I found, <clears throat> not that I found this, but it was here um, that I realized in Pula in Croatia that there was another Colosseum which didn't get any mention. Now the Colosseum technically by the mainstream definition would be an amphitheater. However, I would make a distinction between a Colosseum and an amphitheater. An amphitheater being this form a semicircular steep stepped structure that well looks like a theatre of sorts. I started finding not finding these noticing these often in the shadow of star features of star cities and towns. And I find them quite remarkable. So yet the Colosseum is an elliptical shape as opposed to a stadium shape, which um, I don't know if there's one here. There, there usually are stadia. Um, yes, no. How oh, interesting. <laughs> Pula doesn't have very many stadia. Hmm. You go to any other town and you see dozens of them. Anyway, we'll move on quickly. Uh, a, sta a stadium would uh, be a straight sided semicircle ended um, traditional stadium. So here we are in uh, Tarragona in Spain. This one is quite interesting. We can see, in this case, it is quite, seems to be buried. Now, the question is, was it engulfed by the landscape or was it built into the landscape? Hard to tell. So the overall impression that I have of these is that they are very old structures. This, what looks like a church, was built inside this Colosseum and this church itself seems to have uh, seen better days. 
So I would assume that this was obviously, it seems obvious that this was just built afterwards on this, after this was uh, disused, shall we say. Here we are going to Lyon in France. Again, we have the quite distinctive elliptical shape. However, again, we're looking at a at a subterranean situation. I don't know where that goes off to because it's very much at a different level. We move over to Lecce or Lecce, Lecce maybe, in Italy here again. We've got a partial ellipse and again what's going on here was it was the was it buried or was it cut out of this situation my inkling is to, to think that Obviously, it was bigger. It's uh, more like the the one in Rome went had concent sort of concentric uh, ellipses towards the outside. These foundation stones and pillars are very typical, and as they are pretty solid and good foundations, they do get built upon using its footprint and that show that shows through in the structures that are built on top um this is an interesting one it's a long long way away from the roman empire <laughs> it's hard to see now exactly What's going on? This is a very well-known, unknown place, Timbuktu in Mali. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have 3D imagery, but there is a sign of an amphitheater, possibly a star, and possibly we have an ellipse could be a Colosseum a lot of the Colosseums can be found in Italy as we are here again in Catania in Italy and this appears to be an amphitheater well this certainly is because they're, well, they, they, they're usually very close neighbors it could however be uh, a partial uh, a partial coliseum again the same situation it seems to be sort of the levels have to be called into question here And there is what's left of the amphitheater. If we go over to Israel, or Israel, imagery on Google Earth for Israel, Israel is uh, awful, but I don't think 
we can dispute that that is an amphitheater sitting amongst ruins. Pop over to Bulgaria, Plodiv, and we see the remains of an amphitheater amongst the ruins of old buildings well below ground level. Down the road we have another nestling in what seems possibly to be a star structure and has a tunnel running underneath it. So how was that built? Across the Atlantic for our, for my American audience in Virginia, not too far from Washington DC, if this will ever resolve. Here we go. Okay, it's not much of an amphitheater, but where there's smoke, there's fire, and right beside it, we have, again, star features, and this is, as I said, not far from our old friend and star the Pentagon and the Arlington Cemetery. I've done a video on that so you can check back on that. This is one of the most stunning examples here is in Caglia uh, Cagliari in Italy. There's definitely a lot of clues and evidence to be drawn by looking at this one. There is no doubt that it was a Colosseum. However, it looks like it was rather than built on the surface as the one in Rome and others appear. It looks like it was quite literally scooped out of the bedrock. This must be a stunning place to visit and if we're ever allowed to travel again I hope that somebody can go and check it out. It really is rather amazing. Look at the what looks like the the rows of seating are twisted and contorted and all but it all looks like solid bedrock. So there we go that's um They're the ones I will show you on Google Earth. And I'll just show you some more quickly in Arezzo in Italy. Remains of a Colosseum. Arles in France. Arles in France. So the Colosseum by in Italy, forgive my pronunciation, Bergama in Turkey, 
amphitheater uh, amongst ruins. This is not the same one. This is just down the road at the same area, but not the same. Budapest in Hungary, the remains of a Colosseum. Here we have maybe a modern day amphitheater. But as I said, there's, um, it's in the shadow of the star in Calo in Peru, so it may be on the foundation. Um, in Albania, the remains of a, of a Colosseum. And El Diem in Tunisia, Colosseum. These are those foundation stones talking about earlier. In Fiesol Amphitheatre. Florence. I found this because I saw that there was a Colosseum on a map dating from 1000 AD. And. I saw that there was a Colosseum and I went looking for it, couldn't find it, but I did find its its site, which is here and happens to be an elliptical form. So building on top of the remnants of the past. Another one in Forley, Italy. Frankfurt in Germany. Could well be. It's um, the right sort of size for Colosseum and location. Gothenburg in Sweden. Semicircle, semicircular features are not all that common in old towns, but um might be a stretch this one looks quite round but it is actually elliptical in guatemala we have a an amphitheater gubbio in italy key west it's a possibility but just to let you know that I'm I'm well aware of this, and thank you to everybody for pointing it out to me. Kronberg, this could be all that's left of the Colosseum. London, England, funny story here. This may or may not be built on an amphitheatre. Uh, there is talk of a an amphitheater in the area in London, although not at that particular site and not at this site either. And it was um, under eight meters of what they call it was excavated eight meters below street level under what they call accumulated waste over the centuries. Now, you going to buy that story? <laughs> I don't. So again, this could be the site of a Colosseum in London. There's no story to say that there was, but that's my guess from what I've seen. Again, here in Luca, look at that. We'll often find amphitheatres in pairs, like a multiplex, <laughs> side by side. Merida, Colosseum, amphitheatre, neighbours, possibly here, in the shadow of a star feature, possibly here. Railway um, locomotive sheds 
and turntables. Um, are quite likely sites for X amphitheaters. What I notice, uh, it's funny, I found a few of these. Looks like a railway turntable, but no sign of a railway. Nîmes in France, spectacular on the surface. Old Medina in Morocco. Could guess that it was here. Again, not too far from star features. Here in Oridea in Romania. Actually on the points of stars, we've got two amphitheaters. Not much left of this one in Udna. In the neighborhood, very same. They are very distinctive um, buildings and have the same features. And my guess is that the footprint uh, can be seen to this day. Palmyra in Syria, amphitheatre amongst the ruins. Paris, France, touching on subterranean here. Poitiers. Uh, the reason I put this in is because uh, Poitiers is not too far from where I'm living and I I I saw I saw it on the tour and the tourist guide and I said where is it I went looking for it and, and naturally couldn't find it, it but it, it was here and there are some traces of the arches down one of these side streets and that's all that remains today and there is all the history behind it. Pompeii in Italy again we've got a little multiplex here we've got two theatres side by side and not far away we have the Colosseum this going back to Pula uh, roads in Greece, in Spain, in the shadow of star feature, Saint, Saint in France, I'll be going to visit this because it's not too far away from me either. In Spain again, these, um, Foundation stones, just typical of the architecture. Won't pronounce that either, but it's obvious enough. In Turkey, Syracuse in Italy, and an amphitheater and a Colosseum. <laughs> we had a look at that earlier. Algeria, Terni in Italy again, same thing. The construction on its foundation, on the f you know using the old structure as the foundation. Germany, Spain, again in Italy. This is a nice one. The roof of this building literally follows the, the, the block of seats. You can see it leaning out. Yeah, just pointing out here in Verona, the outer, the outer wall, there's just this much left of it. These are the foundation blocks 
that I was pointing at earlier, and to Santon in Germany. So that's not all. There are lots and lots and lots of them, and it would uh, just make a video um, too long for most people's uh, liking. I try to keep them short if I can and present the best evidence that I can find. And um, yeah, this one it just is stunning. I keep coming back to, to have a look at it because it is quite remarkable. So, no conclusions, just presentation of evidence today, guys. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I wish you all good luck and I'll be back. And um, see you, talk to you then. Bye.